Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this particular video, I would like to explain yet another microstructure, especially I will be talking about the mechanical properties of this particular microstructure. In the last videos also, we were giving special emphasis on the mechanical properties of the particular microstructure that we will be seeing in iron carbon alloys. We have already explained how they are forming, what is the what is the details of uh, what is the detailed microstructure of each of these things we have already seen so in this segment i will be specifically emphasizing or highlighting more about the mechanical properties so without much ado let's start talking about martensite see martensite is formed after rapidly cooling the austenite from a temperature which is above your um, uh, eutectoid temperature which is 727 degrees celsius for an iron carbon alloy to a temperature which is nearly same as that of the ambient temperature so that's how you get martensite martensite is actually um, this all these things i have already exp I have explained past but even then the structure of the um, austenite is a body centered tetragonal so this particular structure is formed after a diffusionless process since the cooling was so rapid diffusion didn't happen at all so, uh, that's why we get um, that's how we get martensite martensite is a meta stable product um, then see so uh, these atoms are your ion atoms now what happens is in the microstructure the carbon atoms let me denote it with the black color it will occupy certain interstitial positions let's say for uh, like this so this is how the microstructure of martensite will look like now let's start talking about the mechanical properties of this particular microstructure now actually among all the various microstructure that may be produced for a given steel alloy martensite is the hardest and the strongest so that implies it will be brittle and it will have negligible ductility so that's why we use a heat treatment process like tempering because at this particular condition it it is not good for it is not good for any real life application so we use a heat treatment process called tempering to modify its properties which we will discuss in the next video for the time being hold it then what i want to tell you is that here hardness will increase up to a certain percentage let's say up to 0.6 weight percentage of carbon if you add more and more carbon hardness will increase till this particular point then it more or less remains the same here hardness is not um, dependent on microstructure it is dependent on two other things the first one is the effectiveness of the interstitial carbon atoms in acting as a barrier against dislocation motion so in the in the little while ago i showed you how carbon atoms occupy those interstitial positions in the crystal structure so how good they are or how effective they are in preventing the dislocation motion will determine the hardness of this particular microstructure so the effectiveness of your interstitial carbon atoms in preventing dislocation motion similarly see hardness will also depend upon the number of slip systems slip systems are the directions along which these dislocations will move causing a plastic deformation so uh, the less the number of slip systems in your um, system it will be more hard now the other thing see 
when um, since the density of martensite is less compared to that of austenite i told you earlier that martensite is produced after rapidly quenching austenite from a temperature above 727 degrees centigrade to a temperature which is close to the ambient temperature so since there is a mismatch in the density since the density of austenite is more it this particular cooling process will result in an increase in volume which in turn or consequently will create or may create a crack so all these things have to be taken care um in a in a martensite microstructure so this is what all i have got about the mechanical properties of martensite so i these are very strong the this where they're very hard but they have they offer little ductility negligible ductility so we use a, the um, heat treatment process called tempering to improve its properties that will be the discussion topic or that will be the topic for the discussion in the next set of videos thanks a lot